Good morning folks, Ron Ray here with Turning 65 Solutions and for this morning's video we're going to answer a question that we get often here and is that and that question is if I'm a veteran do I have to enroll in Medicare and to answer this question we need to make a, a couple of quick distinctions and the first one is that we need to distinguish between uh, somebody who served honorably in the military but wasn't in long enough to retire with retirement benefits. Okay, so that, that's one side and that we'll, we'll refer to as a veteran. And then the other side is a veteran who served long enough to retire from the military with benefits. So we'll, we'll refer to that for our purpose of our video as a military retiree. Okay, so those are the two distinct, distinctions that we need to make. Uh, and so we'll cover retirees first because they're they're the easy ones. So for military retirees and, and their their dependents, they are entitled to uh, health insurance from a program called Tricare. And Tricare is your health insurance. When you're under age 65, uh, you are on either Tricare Prime or Tricare Select. There's a premium. It works very much like you know regular group health insurance. When you retire, when you turn 65, however, though, you will transition to what's called TRICARE for life. Now, when you go on TRICARE for life, you must have Medicare A and B because TRICARE for life serves a as if it were a Medicare supplement. Now, it's not a Medicare supplement. It's not exactly the same thing, but it serves that same role. So Medicare is going to pay first and TRICARE will come in and for anything that's qualified, they will pay your out-of-pocket share. So essentially you'll have zero out-of-pocket for uh, Medicare approved uh, medical uh, services. Now, prior to age 65, Tri TRICARE Prime, TRICARE Select, you were paying a premium. Uh, when you go on TRICARE for Life, there's no premium for TRICARE for Life. However, you do have to pay the Medicare Part B premium. Okay, now, do you need a supplement with TRICARE for Life? The answer is no. A supplement, a Medicare supplement wouldn't serve much purpose because it would be duplicating coverage provided by TRICARE for Life. Now, you can, however, have a Medicare Advantage plan. Now, that gets a little bit complicated. We'll cover that in another video because there's some things you need to watch out for, some questions you need to ask before you select a Medicare Advantage plan if you're a military retiree going on to TRICARE for life. It, it can be good for some people. It can be bad for some people. So let's have a, another discussion about that in a future video. The one that I really want to talk about, though, are veterans that served in the military but did not retire and are entitled to VA health care benefits, okay? Now, I'm not going to get into all the details about how the VA works and the different levels of care and, and coverage and whether you're a disabled veteran or not a disabled veteran or a special disabled veteran. Uh, that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is simply to answer the question, do you have to enroll in Medicare? There's a short answer and a long answer as normal. If you are entitled to VA benefits, you're like everybody else, you do not have to enroll in Medicare Part B. However, you may incur penalties and delays at some point in the future when you do want to enroll in Medicare Part B. You see, VA benefits are not what's considered creditable coverage for Medicare Part B. So uh, the VA will continue taking care of you the way they've been if you don't get Medicare Part B. However, if at some point in the future you want to decide you want to go to a, a doctor that's not going to be allowable under the VA program uh, and you need to get Medicare, then you're going to have to get Medicare Part B, but there can be penalties, big penalties, and there can be delays. You can't just sign up for Medicare Part B anytime you want to once you're in that situation. So it's always recommended that veterans with VA benefits go ahead and get Medicare. One doesn't affect the other. You can still use your VA doctors. You can still get your prescriptions from the VA and you can now go to any other uh, Medicare doctor that you want under the Medicare system. So one doesn't affect the other except that 
VA doesn't qualify you to get penalty free Part B after you turn 65. Now, Medicare Part D is a little bit different story. If you have prescription drug coverage through the VA, that prescription drug coverage is considered creditable coverage under Medicare Part D, meaning you are not required to sign up for a prescription drug plan, Medicare prescription drug plan Part D. And if you wanted to get one later, because that VA coverage is considered creditable, then there will be no penalties. Uh, so it's, it's, it can get complicated. We're very well versed. We live uh, and work in Military City, USA, here in San Antonio, Texas. And we work with a lot of veterans and a lot of military retirees. We know their systems very well. And we can answer all of those questions for you. So if you have any questions about this or need any help or guidance or just uh, want us to point you in the right direction for your local VA um, um, advocates that here in the area where you live, give us a call. The number is 830-217-6711 or look us up on the web. It's www.t65s.com. Uh, I'm going to put a link to our website in the video description down below. We've got a very nice article on this very topic on our website, and I'll put that link in the video description. If you enjoyed the information in this video, give us a thumbs up. That helps uh, YouTube get this video out to other people who are searching for the same information that you were today. And be sure and subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when we upload a new helpful video. So until the next time, we hope you have a great day, folks. Thanks. Bye.